Hello, we are live. It is Throwback Thursday, September 13th, 2018. Steve Cypress here. Just had a lovely meal at Addison Steakhouse in McHenry, Illinois. Close to my old stomping ground. I came 1,800 miles. Have my clients are flying in from all over for uh, three times a year. We get together in person and make lots of money together. And look who I ran into. Uh, actually, a father of client of mine. Uh, but superstar business owner himself, it's Lucky <laughs> Luciano. You can say hello. Hi, hello, everybody. Here. Now, here. so, uh, uh, and looks like Ace is here. Oh, no, it's saying you're here. Hey, you're here. And I'm Julie's here. here. Great <laughs> scene. So, here's the deal. Uh, uh, do you still have your business? Yeah. Okay, so it's a yeah. siding company? It's a remodeling company. Remodeling yeah. company years. for f how many, 40, how many 46 years? 46 years. 46 years? Well, I was going to say I haven't been alive that long, but I have. But 46 years, what is the secret to staying in business 46 years? Do it right the first time. Sell it right, do it right. Oh, I thought you were going right. to do it right the first time, then take 45 years off. <laughs> yeah. Not quite that good. Do it right the first time. In fact, I've helped many clients use that as a headline in their ad. That's their guarantee. We fix it right the first time, or we'll come back and fix it for free. Lifetime but you warranty. Can, you can skip well, the second part because you just do it right the first time. Period. I always gave a lifetime warranty on everything I did. How can you do that if you do it right the first time? You don't have to worry about the warranty. That's a big key to what is known as the irresistible offer, the O in the Wow strategy. If every other remodeler doesn't say that, and you say lifetime warranty, fairly irresistible to do business with you, which I Not assume several people have over the 46 years. Yeah. 46 years. So, the other thing is. Lucky Luciano happens to be, and maybe he'll be modest here and deny it, but he happens to be the greatest storyteller <laughs> of any human being I know. And everyone that knows you says the same thing. Yeah, I've got a few stories. Somebody, I was just speaking at an event for another one of my clients today, and so Jerry saw me on a video the other day that I'd be here speaking. You live right around here still, Yeah, right? I live about three miles. And he said, okay, I'll see you there. I'll come over. And, but while you were there, people you'd never met, never no. knew you, no. and I come over and I say hello, and she's like, He's a great storyteller. I'm like, already? How'd you do that? She met you like two minutes ago. First Jerry impressions is are lasting the impressions. greatest storyteller. So I'm going to put you right on the spot here. Tell me a story. Tell you a story. When I was a kid. Holy crap. And see, he can. If someone said that to me, I'd go, about what? When? Who? I'm not prepared. What are you talking about? Here it comes. When I was a kid in Chicago, I remember growing up. Oh, I've up heard some of these with, stories, by the way. With the white striped t shirts on. By the know, way, this guy not only is the hardest Chicago. worker, he was a hard worker when you were like 12. My first business, I was 12 and a half years old. I had a newsstand in Chicago. By the time I was 15, I had three newsstands and a sunny concession at a church. I remember those stories. So tell me this one. Oh, that's the story we're going to tell? That's the story, yeah. I like it. Uh, well, but you told me a story uh, of something when you were, how you were going in to get the papers back in the day, and... I ran into, uh... I don't I remember. literally ran into someone. My, at that time, I didn't own the newsstand yet, but my dad was the truck driver delivering the newspapers, and we were delivering newspapers to St. Clement's Church in Chicago, and it was raining, and I'm running up the steps with a bundle in each hand, and with my head down, and I crash into a gentleman coming out of the church before mass. It was still dark out. I was going to say before you're delivering papers. It's dawn. Yeah. And and I knocked him on his butt and got up and his pants were wet. And he looked at me. He's you okay, kid? I said, yeah, I'm okay. He says, you sure? I said, yeah. Is you okay? He says, yeah. Is you okay? I says, until I get back to the truck and my father gets me. He's not. Oh, it's okay. He walked the truck with me and he's. My father gave me kind of a dirty look and he says, are you all right, Mr. Thomas? And Look, my father says, you know everybody. He says, you know who that is? He says, that's make room for daddy, Danny Thomas. Really? At that church. You crashed into Danny Thomas. At that church. At dawn. At, when you're delivering papers when you're 12 years old. At that church, Danny Thomas first pledged his loyalty to St. Jude. And that now, was how come Genesis. I never heard this story? Well, I had to turn on the camera and do Throwback Thursday <laughs> live video to hear this story. What a great story. Am yeah. I kidding? Oh, oh. Just my phone. And now I knocked down his phone. This is why we're shooting the, the video on my phone. So That was I, the genesis I, of St. Jude Hospital is that, for Children. Am I right or am I right? The guy's the greatest storyteller in the world. Where did that come from? 
I've known you for like 10 years. I've never heard that story. You don't have enough time How for How many stories. stories about TV and movie stars do you have that I haven't heard? I'm not going to ask no. because it's we're going to have to cut off the video before, like, you know, i got to get going. Yeah. But if you ever get a chance to meet Lucky Luciano, be prepared to spend hours listening to the greatest storyteller of all time. And we'll say hello to some folks who are here. Jeremy Danley is here. We'll see you tomorrow. Phil Brakefield, I know you just... Uh, canceled out and we won't see you tomorrow karen davy is here not flying in we won't see you tomorrow and uh that's everyone that's here live i don't see any questions comments concerns no one's asking hey tell me a story maybe if we did this a little later in the day they'd all say tell me a bedtime story oh well give me a call <laughs> but i'll give you a hint you would not fall asleep you would stay up all night listening to stories so thank you very much for throwback thursday 46 years in business 46 years good life thank you very much Thank you. You say has been as if like it's over. No, not yet. Yeah, what are you talking about has yet. been? You're just getting started. It's, well, yeah. Very good. Thanks for being here today. Thanks Thank to everyone you. watching. And we'll catch you tomorrow on Foundation Friday from Addison Steakhouse in McHenry, Illinois. Over and out. Bye-bye. Bye now.